Welcome to another episode with Buff Lunch and we're here in Mosley Road in Birmingham to try out Beitel Yemeni. I have never tried this in my entire life, so I'm really excited. Let's go and check it out. <sighs> Incredible. It doesn't appear when you come in that the entire restaurant extends all the way to the back and you go through these hallways where there's like these enclosures where you can sit down, take off your shoes, sit down on the floor and really take in the experience of being in that Yemeni culture and that Yemeni food being laid out in front of you, you know, while you sit with your friends in the carpet floor. If you can't sit on the floor and you feel uncomfortable, it's okay, they've got tables as well. This place has already transported me to another place in the world and I have to say that is probably what you want out of a restaurant that you really can get into the culture without even having started eating the food that's amazing so today we're ordering sea bass fish that is a whole sea bass marinated in Aden special spices grilled on charcoal and served with rice we're then also ordering fasa lamb soup cooked with pieces of meat and halba served with one naan <laughs> a lamb mandi roasted spring lamb served with rice and a half chicken served with rice or fries and salad. Today we'll be going with rice. We didn't order salta, which is the national dish of Yemen. So we went back to the kitchen and said, stop, we need salta as well. So we also got salta. Strawberry mojito first. Yeah, that is nice. They've used soda for this mojito, so you can taste the mint. You can taste very strong strawberry in there. In the lime, giving you that nice sour taste. Great. Next one up, we're gonna go with a virgin mojito. Oh yeah. Oh, it's really refreshing, really nice. The owner came by and spent a lot of time with us explaining all about Yemeni culture, the food, the ingredients, the way of eating, and he even taught me how to eat with my hands, which is completely new to me. We didn't expect the owner to be there, so the video is a little bit different to what we usually do, but then we got invited to come back, and we were really excited about that, and we hope to show that to you as well. We started being introduced to the fasa. It's very Greek, mm. Mm, mixed with uh, green spring onions, lemon, and mm -hmm. what have you. And that is absolutely amazing. Mm. Put the chili in there. Yeah, so... There, yeah, that's yeah. fine. And if you just mix it really quickly like that, yeah. if I just show you... Go for it, show me. The bread here, yeah. so I fold it in half like that, I've yeah. made a spoon. So now I can just go like this, spoon. and now it's like a little oh, spoon. Oh, look, I'm learning. Yes, so, I'm learning. Mm. Taste the fenugreek, you'll taste the chili, mm. you'll taste the meat in there. And it's very, very nice when it goes in the mixer. Oh, wow. And if you're a chili person, because that is homemade. It's, it's not homemade chili. It's oh, homemade wow. It's homemade with proper green chilies and... Wow, chili's Everything homemade, goes amazing. Mixed peppers. You you can tell the, the mint and the lemon in there as well. With the, yes. It's very noticeable, and I actually really, really like it's improved it a lot. I really like it. Next up was the sea bass. We got the whole story behind this, how they cook it, how they marinate it. And the owner did us the favor of stripping it for us, teaching us how to clean the fish before we eat it. I took most of the bone out for you. Yeah, yeah. So that way now you've just got pure sea bass fish. Perfect. It's very easy to eat. So this is cooked in a clay oven. We have a, a clay made in Saudi Arabia mm -hmm. and it's made out of stone. Oh wow. The weight of it is ridiculous. We had to get it in the truck and bring it from Saudi. <laughs> they don't make it here. And we cook the sea bass in there. Put it into like a little grill, metal net if you want to call it, or a grill kind of thing. And we put it in and that's how we cook the, the sea bass with all the spices and herbs. And I don't think you're going to taste the sea bass like this. And the bread as well is cooked in the same... In the same oven. Oven. It's all the fish made. So that's taste how... it by itself just to get the taste so you can see if you can taste the ritual of the sea bass and even maybe from the, some of the skin as oh, well. Oh wow. Inside. But it's so tender and so nice. The, uh, the lemon and maybe some of the chili as well. But it's it's mm. we marinate we marinate it with our own sauce. Mmm, it's very unique though. It must be like a a lot of spices in that sauce. We have to. It comes as a whole. Mm -hmm. We uh, obviously we cut it, open it up as a butterfly. Mm -hmm. we gut it, clean it, marinate it, and it goes in.
Wow. Yeah. Mm. I really like the I, li I like the contrast of the acidity of the gherkin or the acidity of the onion with the, the, the you know that that crispy sea bass skin. It's really really nice. This chili is so good. I I, I mean I would I'm like to dip everything. It by itself. I'm gonna try it now. Give it a go. <laughs> the salta came next and. I personally was very excited to try out Yemen's national dish. It's egg, minced meat, vegetables, rice. You can see a bit of rice in there. Rice as well. Wow. Yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get some soup. I'm going to eat it with my newly learned skill. Mixing the chili in. Look at that, guys. Wow. So this here is the lamb soup. So when we cook the lamb, that's the soup that comes from the cooking. Mm -hmm. Now the fasa is supposed to come out. I don't know if you've seen it when it first came out, it came out bubbling. Now because mm -hmm. it's sat for a minute, it's dried up. So I am going to just pour a little bit more soup in there. Yep. Yeah? And now you give it a taste. That's it. And you can put some chili in there and eat how you want to eat it. And yeah. Mm. I can taste the mince meat and I can taste the egg and it's like, and it's still really rich. Like the father like Exactly. Yeah. But I would say like that's more strong in lamb, but yeah. this one is more like meat yes. covering you fully. That one is a bit it's gentler. Very, very fulfilling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Salta is much very gentler, much. but that that one is very good. I mean, I, I like them both equally, to be honest. But yeah. yeah, like you said, if you were already having a meat meal, having that would be overpowering. It would be a yeah. lot, but it, it'd be very, still very good. Still good. Salta can be given to us as a veggie option as well. So for those that want to have that same similar experience of that richness still, but you can still have that veggie option with a really delicious homemade chili. So definitely have to try it out. Next up, we tried the lamb mandi. It's spring lamb. You can see here, I'm taking it out from the bone and it's just come off the bone straight away. I mean, look at that. Oh, wow. I'm just gonna try it on its own first. That is good. Yeah. Is that also in the clay oven? No, yeah, that's cooked in the oven. It's half cooked in the soup and onions and, mm -hmm. and what have you, and then it'll mm -hmm. create a bit of water, and then yep. eventually the meat will soften up. Soften up and, okay. And once it's softened up, we've created the soup. Mm -hmm. We'll take it out. Okay. We'll pour half of the soup into the tray and then put it in the oven. Oh. For another hour and a half. That's why it's so rich, so good. Absolutely, yeah. Well, how we eat with our hands is we go like that, so yeah. I'm going to yeah. show you the old tradition. So they go like this, basically. Yeah. They grab it like that with their yeah. hands, yeah. Yeah. And then they, they you crunch they, it into they, a ball. They squeeze it. Oh wow! And with my thumb. Yeah. And with your thumb, you you kind of you clean it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. <laughs> See how well I do. I've just learned from the owner how to eat more traditionally with the hands, and I'm still learning. So please bear with me. I'm gonna put some chili here on the rice. Scoop it in. Grab it like that. Squeeze it a little bit so to give it nice and that. And then when I put it into my mouth, I That's scoop it with my thumb out. That's it. The, never had the, food the, like the that. The flavor and the fact that you eat it with your hands. Mm. If you put the spoon in, there is a saying that when you put the spoon mm. in your mouth, there's this kind of different taste that it gives you because mm. of the metal. One of the things I find funny is that I think you were just so much more graceful with it. I feel like I've made a mess in my entire mouth. Oh, this but. is a good thing about it. Yeah. If you're enjoying your food and when it's yeah. in there, your hands could be messy and it, yeah. it's, it's really indulging. I love it. I love the eating with my hands. If you don't want to squeeze it, you can even just go like that, just with your yeah. hands. You just and go in. You just put it in, yeah, and that's it. It's fine. Mm. So it's all, you'll get comfortable with it after a while, I'll switch mm. you. My partner's Malaysian, so she eats with her hands. There you go. And I sometimes look at it and it's like, I really don't know how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I have now been converted to eating with my hands. The food tastes so much better. We've given you the tutorial in this video, so you have to definitely try it at home. 100%. Yeah, I've got to come to this place because I've already experienced way more than I anticipated to experience. Next up was the chicken. And you guys know that I love me some chicken. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look how it comes right off that Mendy leg. Oh, it's so soft mm -hmm. and so pure as well, like yeah. so powerful. It's not so much about the spices, but the texture of the chicken. I don't know what they have, how that oven is special, but it is so soft and nice and crispy. I haven't even had a chance to really speak about the food in earnest because I've been given all this story from the owner about how much they work to get that oven in and how much the they care about their food and the richness of the flavors. And the national dish is outstanding. The lamb version of that is so rich and powerful and you have got to try it out. But the way that people eat in this culture is that they sit around and they share all this food. It's messy, but so endearing. Getting involved and incredible. Saturday, mm -hmm. we'll try the lamb shank. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We've even got a shoulder. Oh, wow. Oh. There was so much amazing food that we wanted to try that the owner invited us to come back and try more. So this is a lamb shoulder. 
A spring lamb shoulder. We've got two types of rice with it as well, a mendi rice and zurbian rice. We've got the chicken shawarma, which is um, fresh chicken breast that's made. It's not processed meat made here. And then we've got the spring lamb. We have the vegetable sauce as well, which is here and here and here. Absolutely love the presentation, by the way. Is this normal? Do, do you normally serve it this way as well in the restaurant? Yes, I mean, what it is, like I said, the experience of, again, it being Beit al Yemeni or the Yemeni house, we want to bring the same experience at home when we do have guests. It's floor seating, it's a big plate, and we all eat together. We don't eat Wonderful. separate plates, and that's the that's the joyful thing about it. We all enjoy each other's company, and it does bring the taste of, uh, you can eat a lot more than what you're supposed to when you are together. And as we learned last time, with your hands as well, not just with... Uh... Yes, I actually taught him to eat with your hands, and you, yeah. did, you did very well. He did very well. I don't. In fact, let me take this away from you. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> but yeah, it's it's, it's cooked. Uh, I mean, we have got our special chef who is amazing. I'm not going to tell you all the secrets about how it's cooked, but it's 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 oven it's oven cooked uh, partly with the soup as well, and then the other half of it um, in, in the oven. What do you do with the soup? Do I drink it like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah you drink it. You just drink do it, I drink and it off um, the bowl like this. Absolutely. Why not? Yeah, of oh. course. So yeah, I mean, the best thing to get a lemon. You have the chili oh, as well. Okay. What does the soup have inside? Um, it's lamb. It's spring lamb. lamb. It's, it's lamb, lamb soup. soup. It's the actual. It's the actual soup from with the meat that's cooked. And if you are a chili lover, then you can always have a little bit of chili in there as well. And then I think you might like that. Nice. Yeah, I love. I love my chili. I love the chili last time. Look at that bread. So they brought us today a massive bread. So typically the size of this is half of it, right? Well, normally the original size is half. This okay. is called a double. You can order a double and, and they bring you this yeah. massive bread. So have a look at that. That is amazing. I'm gonna have some of this soup with chili because I really don't want to get. I don't, I really don't want to let, uh, I really don't want to let it get cold. Our editor edits all that stuff out. Mm. You, you get a lot of that strength of that lamb and the lemon gives it a really nice balance so that it's not overpowering. And then the chili gives you that heat at the back of your throat, which is fantastic. So it feels very homey. Obviously it being warm and, and nice inside is, is fantastic. Spoon wise, you can use your hands, but uh, look, enjoy, the, enjoy your meal. <laughs> pra practice at home with your hands. I have to practice at home. Until, Absolutely. yeah. So, really I'm, I'm just going to go dig in. Yes, and if you see... That's the whole shoulder, is it? That, All of that, that, is, that is, yeah, from here. Obviously, you've seen the bone. It, it, I think the, the, the bone actually fell off it. That's how you know, oh, it was. Wow. But it goes all the way around to here. And this is some of the meat as well of it, that you can see. Oh, that's, that's, so part of the, uh, that's part of the shoulder. It's so tender, as you can see, just with a spoon. It just comes off. I can just scrape it. And there you go, that's the inside. So oh it, it's very, God. very, very, very tender. It's, it's amazing. It's again, one of our sellers. It's a, you know, it's a family, family deal. They come in and they can add little extra skewers on top of, if they want lamb skewers or chicken skewers, or as again, as you can see, we have shawarma here as well. That's chicken shawarma. Ooh, I love you know, you got, you got the, you got the veg. And then extra nice. meat well, if that's needed. Tomato sauce as well. Absolutely. Yeah, what yeah. do we have here on the salad though? I want to make so, sure we get everything. This is like a, a fetouche salad. Yeah. It's got all the trimmings of a salad. Mm -hmm. Mixed peppers, pickled um, gherkins, and we also put, if you can see that there, that sauce, that's pomegranate oh, nice. sauce. Okay. So if you was to have a taste, it's all over. Where? Fried fried yeah. dry bread on there as nice. well, red onions, um, cabbage. Yeah, it's all, all, all the good stuff. It's amazing. I love it. It's so crumbly and tender and it falls apart in your mouth. It's so good. Thank you for eating with a spoon as well. No, no, no I feel, now I, I, was, I was feeling like... You know, this is the first time for me to eat with my hands. Yes. Oh, really? This is yes. the first time? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Let me drop my spoon. Oh, no. And dig in. If you want to... For the you. rice, you may use the... I, yeah, I think I'll have, I'll have the spoon. There you go. The rice. If you can grab your hands gonna, up to that one, gonna, try that one there. I'm going to do but that. But for the meat, I mean... Yeah, even even for the rice and the meat, I mean, it's, it's just like... No, I, I feel with wow. the rice was... Uh, is that yeah, what was closer to the nice bone? Now. The more it is closer to the bone, the more, it is the more. The more delicious it is. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, way more tender closer to the bone. But I also really like the, the flavor of the skin when I had the other one. It was it was so good. Mm -hmm. I get all that crispiness from the outside, and I like skin on my on my meat. It gives it that mm -hmm. extra, crisp, extra layer of flavor. Is this, is this a salad that we normally have with this sort of meal? Is that something no. you would normally pair? No. The salad that comes with the meal would be basic salad, which is normal salad. Yeah, lettuce, tomatoes, onions. Mm. I can taste already the, the pomegranate sort of juice yep. in there. It's really nice. That sweetness has another layer to the flavor, so I, I quite like it. It's really refreshing to pair that with the meat as well. Oh, and the bread. The bread is absolutely fantastic. Of course, how could I forget? <laughs> It's crispy and soft at the same time. I don't know how they are making how, it. How that, how that oven does it, right? Yeah. Crispy and soft at the same yeah. time. It's yeah. actually yeah. brilliant. Ooh. Fasa. Fasa. Yep. That's the one with the lamb. Yep. Oh, I love it. Yeah, that's, that, that, that's <laughs> the one that you lick, end up licking the bowl yes, at the yes. end. Yes. 
it's very smart the way it's done because while that's boiling hot, it's gonna take about a good 10 minutes to cool down when it's you're able to eat it without burning your mouth. Okay. So in that time, we're eating here. Ah, okay. Giving it a time. So you're leaving it time. So, so when we, we finished here, that dish comes in. We let it sit on the side for a while, and then it kind of enriches the flavor while we're eating exactly. on the, the rest of the food. That, yeah. is, that is very clever. So we, very like, we just time it. Yeah, That's why he bought it. it. Um, he bought it like a 10 minutes later. after. Yeah. Okay, so if you order it, the fasa will come a little bit later so that you can enjoy the meal that you're having, but also get the most out of the fasa when it's ready for you to eat. So it will come boiling, but don't eat it straight away. Just make sure that condenses down to the right moment when you can start enjoying it with the bread. I'm still gonna have a little bit though, because uh, I couldn't help myself. I really liked it last time we were here. I love, I love the taste of fenugreek. I never cook, I've never cooked with fenugreek. I've never had fenugreek until I was here. I love it. It's aesthetic, but it has a lot of richness, and I really enjoy it. The idea of eating together as a group, uh, even though that you're full and you've, you've had enough um, and you can't eat no more, it's, you just you continue want to eat with uh, the food with the group because the the people that you're with just you know make you uh, you don't want to break even the conversation. Just for the sake of the conversation, you want to keep eating. Um, it's, it's very joyful. I can really tell that you really take care of your food here. That you think about the experience. That you think about the the importance of every piece that you're presenting. You know you. The shawarma, you've taken care of to marinate it over time. You know, the lamb is coming off the bone. Every single one of the dips and marinades and salads that you accompany things have a, a twist to it that is unique and that you put a lot of effort into making. So it really comes across. Well, consistency is very important. You have to be consistent with the food. And that's why, thank God, alhamdulillah, we have a lot of families that come here. A lot of families that we've attracted in the last, let's say, six months is overwhelming and uh, unexpected. So, and, and they keep coming back. So, we want to make sure that we present the same food, the same taste every single time without fail. So, Mr. Cameraman, are you going to join us? About, what about, are you going to join us, mate? What about the fasa? What about the fasa? The fasa? Oh, you want some fasa now? I don't care about the cameraman. I care about the fasa. Because the moment the cameraman makes it to the fasa, it's over. There'll be no more fasa. <laughs> right. Because he loved it so much. Am I, am I, have I learned? Yeah, yeah, go for it, go for it, man, go for it. You remember how I showed you how to make yeah, a spoon, yeah, yeah? yeah? I showed him how to make a spoon out of, yeah. out of bread, yeah? I was, we had I a was good lesson. Ripping in a bit, there That's we it. go. Perfect. This was my favorite dish here. You guys have got to try this. Yeah. I was told that this was the perfect temperature, and it really, really is. It is just the right amount of heat that I barely have to blow into it. We get a lot of that richness from the fenugreek, that richness from the lamb which is really, really strong with spices, and the textures are so lovely. Amazing. We're mixing Sorry. some extra fenugreek and some and chili, chili on there. top, yeah. Oh. So now, should be ready to rumble. Brilliant. That's it. Dig in. This is areca. It's blended dates with double cream. Oh. Obviously, you've got the nuts, you've got the honey in there, you've got ghee in there, and then you've got raisins, some almonds in there. You taste it without, mm -hmm. from here. Okay. Then you taste it with the raisins and, and you'll see the difference. Maybe you say, you know what? Yeah, better. Yeah, Layers. not better. Okay, give me the name again. So it's it's basically, it's called the areca. So if you get the cream in there, get as much cream as possible as well. Wow. Yeah. No, I can see it's, it's very crumbly. The flavor is very sweet. You get a little bit of that taste of the dates is quite strong, but you have that creaminess over the top that kind of blend, that kind of softens the hit a little bit. It's really, really nice kind of cooked together. I haven't tried it with the rest of the nuts, but I imagine it's going to elevate yeah, it so to another if, level. This dish, there's no sugar in there. Oh. It's all natural, you know, because the dates are sweet enough anyway. Yeah. So if you go, go into here, go take, into that, here. Yeah, take that section, there we go. So now that, now you've got the raisins in there, and you've got the cream in there. And yeah, you'll, you'll see the difference now with the black seed as well, yeah. what you just picked up. Let's go ahead. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So this is, this is the raisins are really nice and, and gooey. An extra layer of almost a little bit, a hint of smokiness almost, like with the with the mm. with the cream and the and the seeds on the top. I really really like it. I have to stop now mm -hmm. for the camera, man. <laughs> it's so good. It is nice. It's so good. Yeah, it's nice. It's mm -hmm. odd because I don't have desserts that often. I, I mm -hmm. often never have desserts, and I would happily have this. So this is kunaf, and you got two kinds. You got one with cream, double cream, mm -hmm. and you got one with cheese. So this is the one with the double cream, <laughs> and it's got pistachios. Ooh. So yeah, dig in. Mm. It's creamy, it's crispy at the top, and with that syrup at the top, it actually comes together quite nicely. I've never tried kunafa in my life, so I really like the crispiness on the outside. Yeah. How it's made, it's, it's from dough. They got a special machine, it has, it's like a comb. It goes around in circles, yes. and they basically, with that comb, it just shreds it literally to like even thinner uh, than, than spaghetti, if you will, um, really, yes. really thin and that's how that is made, and then it's yes, yes. Uh, cooked that way. Mm. That's good. 
And that was our second day in Beit al Yemeni. What an amazing experience. That lamb shoulder was delicious. And that fasa was awesome. I absolutely recommend it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.